We have all been told to give students grace during this time of e-learning. And one of the things a lot of teachers are having trouble releasing is the idea of online assessments. And so um, there is a program called Timeify Me, which enables you to let students take the test whenever is convenient for them, but also allows you to put a time limit on the test. And so I've already talked to IT and it's been added as a Google Form add-on. So I have a quiz that I've already created here. It's a very simple quiz. I have the student's name and then two questions. So up here at the top of the screen, this little add-on button, it looks like a puzzle piece. Click Add-on, Timeify Me, Configure. It's going to ask you for permission, so we're going to click Continue. You're going to pick which account you want to use. Yes, you're giving it permission. So now that we've added that, we're going to get the program to actually start initiating it. Now it is going to ask you for a code. So to get your activation code, you're going to go to timeifyme.com, T-I-M-I-F-Y dot M-E, and then you're going to sign in with Google, the same Google account that you used to start your Timeify Me. It's wanting you to set up your account, so I'm going to put and I'm going to put that this is for personal and education. You're going to create a password. I want to save. And now I have a token here. Again, I've copied it. I'm going to paste it into here and click Connect. We're going to enable it for this form. And now it's been enabled. So now if I close this and I go to Timeify, let's refresh it. And I have that Timeify Me practice quiz right here. And so now when I get ready to actually do the quiz with it, you can do it a few ways. You can click create a test and then you copy and paste uh, the students email addresses, that sort of stuff. But if you do a public form link and tell it you want self registration, that means you don't have to do anything to set it up other than set it up. It's the default is 60 minutes, but if we want to do a two minute test, auto close when the time is over, you can have it close automatically. It will not save, so only do this if you know your students will actually submit it within that time period. If you leave it unchecked, it will tell you how long they spent outside of that quiz. Um, I, we don't have the premium features. Part of the free features are you are limited to 100 tests taken or assigned every month. So if I click Save, and now I'm going to copy that link, and it's ready to put into Google Classroom. The test into Google Classroom just like you would any other Google Form assessment, and I'm on a student view here. So when the student goes to take the quiz, they would click the link. It's going to ask them to sign in. And you had set it up so they can register themselves, so it doesn't matter any of that. It's telling them up front, you have two minutes, and it's telling them your answers will not be submitted. So we're going to click Open Form. You can see that at the top of the quiz, it has a countdown to let them know how much time they have. And I'm going to take my test. And today it is cloudy and cold, but it's supposed to warm up. This last field you leave there, the students can spend as much time as they need taking their quiz as long as they're within that time period. They click Submit, 
It says the response had been recorded. So once your students have taken the quiz or test and you're ready to score it, you need to go into the actual Timeify Me app. So if I go here, Timeify Me, and I can see uh, one student went over, time over, always in focus. Now this tells you how many times they clicked out of the quiz. So if they clicked another tab, um, minimized it, and then came back in, it tells you how many times they left the quiz. So I find that kind of helpful. This student finished it on time with one minute and was always in focus. Now here's the problem with setting it so that it auto closes. If I go to view form and then go into edit view and click responses, even though two people took the quiz, only one of them got recorded because I let it expire if they ran out of time. So this is why I recommend you leave it so that it doesn't expire, but it Timeify Me will still tell you how long they went over. So it's really your choice on how you like that. Uh, once you're in here, you would click this little sheet here. We want to create a new one. And then when you go to assign point values, then you can start looking through and you can see all the questions and you can give it a grade. And that's what you need to do in order to have a timed test in Google Classroom. So once again, timeifyme.com, sorry, not timeify, timeify.me will get you to have a timed test in Google Classroom.